G'day watchers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm featuring this piece from Helios, uh, the independent dive watch style company. This has been provided by my mate Mitch who's actually given uh, quite a few of his pieces for review on the channel. So thanks again Mitch for providing this. Uh, so you can see this uh, simple leather carrying case with the company logo etched into the leather there. Helios uh, was established around 2009 with the MO to offer waterproof watches with great after sales support and with an aim to uh, establish iconic watch designs actually. And I think they've achieved uh, a lot of that and they've grown to be quite a reliable and well-loved brand as far as I've read uh, around forums and other sources. So let's just uh, get this open and show you what model I have here. Okay, so that's the watch itself and it does come with an extra strap. This one's a, a very typical uh, rubber dive strap with the uh, Helios actually put under the under the buckle there rather than on top. So it kind of like it's more under the radar and there no branding over there. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside and show you the watch. All right, guys, so this is the Helios C4 automatic dive watch. Um, the MSRP uh, is... 690 in a sense it's not really an msrp it's actually the direct from maker price now this watch uh, also comes in a number of variations uh, and and if you're familiar with the brand you know that they uh, provide uh, often some customization options with your pieces so uh, the dial comes in a number of variations and i've seen actually uh, quite a few variations on the internet but currently uh, the selection online uh, is dark blue orange and gray along with this very pretty pastel blue. Unfortunately, right now, uh, the pre-order is out of stock. Uh, so you'd have to kind of explore uh, how you might get one. Otherwise, uh, perhaps uh, aftermarket uh, uh, second hand is the way to go for a lot of these. Along with the uh, dial options, there are also bezel options. So, you know, it comes in steel bezels. Uh, as well as non-rotating bezel options and uh, the non-rotating bezel also has a DLC uh, option for the case. This one is a steel case with what uh, is termed a sapphire diver. So a sapphire coated insert uh, bezel here with the vintage style markings 10, 20, 30 just with dots, uh, not so much minute markings on the bezel there. All right, so that, that's the actual option uh, that comes into this C4 with a matching blue strap there and we'll get into the details so the movement in here is uh, none other than an ETA 2824-2 actually I'll put a specs uh, over on the left here this this movement is one of the most common ones you'll see uh, in terms of a Swiss automatic so you know the specs already uh, a lot of the times so a lot of you would uh, in terms of the uh, accuracy the, the rated uh, accuracy of a standard ETA is actually plus or minus uh, 30 seconds per day. I mean, it is supposed to be regulated at two positions at plus or minus 12, but plus or minus 30 is the outside envelope. This one actually runs plus 25 seconds per day in use. So it is actually quite fast and, and it's still inside the envelope. But if I own this watch, I probably would try to regulate myself uh, to a better accuracy. We've got the case then. This case is actually a 40 millimeter case, but the bezel is uh, 41 millimeters in diameter. So the bezel is slightly wider than the uh, case width there. Uh, the thickness is a quite a pleasing 12 millimeters. One of the thinner ETA 2824 watches that I've seen actually at 12 millimeters, including the glass at the top. Lug width is 20 millimeters, which perfectly suits the 40 millimeter case. And the lug to lug uh, distance is 47 millimeters between my thumbs there. So quite demure, uh, quite restrained uh, overall, I think, uh, for a dive watch uh, of modern design. Um, overall weight, because it's got this light strap and it's only a 12 millimeter thick watch, it's only 80 grams, so very light on the wrist. You know, some of my Casios weigh 80 grams. So this one is very easy, very comfortable wear, and you can easily forget that it's on your wrist, you know, at times. Moving on to the finishing, so it's got longitudinal brushing on the top there, you can see the lug surfaces. On the side there, again, longitudinal brushing, moving on to radial brushing all over the, the bottom surfaces, including the case back as well as the bottom surfaces of the lugs. Uh, but it's also got a pet polished bevel there, you can see that bevel 
where the Lugis is polished, as well as this very nicely designed crown guard. So actually, you can see, uh, whilst the side surface is brushed, there is a polished bevel on the top of that crown guard as well. You know, very nicely done, I must say. The quality of the finishing uh, is really quite good on this particular watch. So with that screw-in case back, nothing too fantastic on the design on the case back there, just simple printing. Uh, and that screw-in sign crown, and you can see nicely, you know, proud signing there. Uh, overall water rating is 200 meters, so kind of dive-ready uh, water rating that this watch comes with. Moving on to the, the dial then, and just look at the dial. This is probably my favorite part of the watch. It's got this gloss pastel blue dial here, and I call it baby blue. That's really what uh, this struck me as when I first saw the watch. I said, wow, look at that baby blue. It's just gorgeous. It's got that date window at the six o'clock position with a black writing blue disc. You know, So very nice of them to put a blue disc that matches the dial. This is really a good... Um, demonstration of you know how to how to implement a date disc very nicely integrated with the dial there all right at the six o'clock position so it's central it doesn't uh, take away from the symmetry uh, of the dial as well which is something I like um, it's got applied markers right you can see it's black ringed applied markers um, and it's got those simple baton hands with super luminova uh, on the distal parts of the hands as well as all the markers and the bezel uh, and the Super Luminova is BGW9, so blue glow in the dark, and of course, loom shot right here for you to see how it looks like. The bezel on top is a quality 120 click unidirectional dive bezel, again with that sapphire insert. You can see how it reflects the light there, that sapphire. Listen to those clicks. Very good quality, I think. The, the detents are absolutely solid, and there's no play on the bezel. This is one of the best bezels I've seen uh, at this price range. Definitely better than, for example, the Glycine uh, Combat Sub, uh, which I reviewed a long time back. This one feels a uh, damn sight better than that, I have to say. The solidity and quality of this bezel equates to, uh, I think, something over a thousand. You know, this is something you expect uh, uh, in terms of the bezel function. The glass on top there is a double dome sapphire. All right, double dome sapphire crystal with that nice box side and that curved side that evokes uh, the vintage uh, divers that's, uh, you know, that this watch takes some inspiration on. And look at that. You know, I just really like the look of that. Okay, so that, that's the crystal on top. And the strap, this one, uh, apart from that rubber strap in the case I've shown you, this one's a blue canvas strap. All right, it's got some stitching. It's got the uh, faux leather uh, backing there. Okay, not too complicated, but you know, matches the watch overall quite nicely. Again, the buckle uh, is brushed steel, but uh, doesn't have a halios on the top. It does it uh, only on the underside, which is a nice little touch, you know, to keep it not too ostentatious, to keep it slightly quiet. All right, so let's just try this on the wrist for the wrist shot. And there we have the Helios C4 40mm watch on my 17 centimeter wrist and I think any 40 millimeter as a rule fits me absolutely fine. I'm very happy to wear watches of this size and remembering it's a 47 meter millimeter lug to lug distance there. Okay so that's how it looks like on the wrist. You know what have I really liked about this? There is so much to like I think. You know it's a neat little package. Uh, I'll let you comment and let me know what you think about the value proposition of 690 uh, USD but look it comes with custom options, right? For, uh, in that price, you get to choose a few options to finish your watch. The, the finishing really is pretty darn good quality. You know, it's not uh, the equivalent of a watch that costs, you know, five times more this, but for the price range, this is equal to just about anything else I have seen uh, in the range. And it's got that Swiss Etta movement, which is a, you know, a real bonus. I think early on in the run, they, they used to use some Miyota movements. Now they've stepped up to Swiss Etta, which is fantastic. Uh, and then looking at the bezel, you know, that's a nice touch, right? That vintage design I really like. And it's got those great quality detents, great quality feel. Uh, and the overall vintage inspired design is great as well. But it's got a twist, you know, it's got, it's got that pastel blue down, which is something you know, really quite uncommon and I think it sticks out really nicely. I've gotten quite a lot of comments on people who have seen this on my wrist even just after a week of wearing. 
right? That, that great gloss on the dial with matching strap uh, finishes it very nicely. And because I think the bezel is thin and the dial is relatively wide, this wore you know, larger than 40 millimeters. It really does feel like that uh, on the wrist. It looks like that on the wrist. And I think that is a nice thing, you know, despite the fact that it is only 40 millimeter on the case size there. You know, what is the weaknesses of this brand? Uh, well, look, I, don't, I think this is just a thing to be aware of rather than a weakness. You, you do have to wait for production. If, you, if you're going to get any of your pieces that are still being made, it does take months. You, you put down a, a deposit and then you put you pay down the rest after uh, they're nearing finishing. Um, so you have to be patient when you're getting one of these. But for what for what it is, if you don't mind waiting, you, I think you're getting a great piece. Uh, lastly, I'll just mention canvas straps. I have my doubts about using this for swimming. You know, even though this this watch will be fine for diving, I, I'm not sure I would keep this on. I probably wouldn't choose to take this into water just because you know it, it'll it'll get manky over time and it does take time to dry. I'd probably much rather change it to the rubber if I was going to use it for proper water activity. So there you go, guys. That's my thoughts on this beautiful piece, the Helios Seaforth. Let me know. If you have any thoughts about this brand, if you have any experiences, or if you indeed own any of their pieces, I'd like to hear what you think. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and guys, I will see you next time.